Art Center artists and friends. Uh, my name is Mrs. Mauser Rowe and I will be your art teacher for this episode. Um, today we're going to make something called cloud dough. And you might have made cloud dough before with me in one of my previous lessons, but it's just so much fun to play with and it's so simple that I thought this would be something great for kids to do over the summer. Cloud dough is a little bit like a dough, kind of like a um, putty slash slime, and not really the slimy part. And um, But it's really fluffy and it's fun to play with and you can dye it all different kinds of colors. And um, it's just really fun and great and simple. So, I hope you enjoy. Here we go. All right, we're back. So, to make cloud dough, you will need cornstarch. You will also need um, some hair conditioner or lotion. And um, it's recommended to, you know, don't use the fancy can air conditioner get get something real cheap to throw in here um, and then if you'd like you can also use food coloring or any sort of maybe liquid watercolors to dye your cloud dough different colors so I didn't realize when I was squeezing out my hair conditioner that it already is tinted orange so I had a vision of making a really beautiful teal colored cloud dough but instead we might go with more like a I might add some red food coloring to it and go with kind of maybe a sunset color instead so you need a half a cup of conditioner or lotion, okay? One half cup. And then you need one whole cup of cornstarch, okay? So a half a cup of lotion or hair conditioner and a full cup of cornstarch, okay? I'm actually going to add some of the food coloring to my lotion first, just to kind of mix it around in there. And let's see what I get. Kind of looks like a, a brain. Okay, and I'm just gonna mix this around in here first and see what kind of color I get. All right, make sure that's all stirred to your liking. And then I'm going to add the cornstarch. Cornstarch gets everywhere if you haven't used it before. <laughs> oh, it smells so delicious because it has that lotion in it. Or sorry, hair conditioner is what I'm using. And I'm gonna keep stirring and stirring and eventually I'm gonna switch over to using my hands because your hands are the most amazing art supplies you have. So in a minute, I'm gonna stop with the spoon and start kneading with my hands. Okay. And if you're doing this and you find that for some reason it's too dry, then you can always add more hair conditioner. Or if you find that it's too wet, you can add a little bit more cornstarch. Okay, and you can see it's starting to come together a little bit. And I'm just gonna keep mixing and keep kneading this. Okay, until it starts to come together. And at this point, mine's still pretty crumbly. So I might add a little bit more conditioner to try to bind this up a little bit. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna knead it around. Oops, I'm getting it all over the place. Okay, until it starts to resemble, and I want mine actually to be a little bit more sticky here. A little bit more. kids keep saying it smells so good because it smells like hair conditioner in here if you wanted to add a different color you could always put in a different color at this point too you don't have to only add it in at the beginning Gross. All right, so I have kneaded and kneaded and kneaded this cloud dough and I did actually have to add a little bit more conditioner to make it um, nice and fluffy, but you can see now that it is a nice squishy soft dough. And with your squishy soft dough, you could make this into um, an animal or you could mold it into some sort of cool bowl thing. Um, you can just use it as 
as something fun to squish if you are feeling upset or angry or sad. So cloud dough is very squishy and fun. You can see that it's not really getting on my hands at all. It's not staining my hands. It's wonderful and fun and really squishy and fun to play with. So enjoy making cloud dough, Boop. have some fun with this and enjoy the nice weather.